Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can print all the links on any web page. So uh, many times uh, you uh, might be required to, you know, get all the links on the page and verify the links that are present. And then uh, it's also, you know, uh, the same technique can be utilized for the different sections on the page. So for example, there are different, you know, uh, divs and within those divs there are uh, different uh, links or elements present and you want to verify the presence of the links or presence of the drop down in different sections so how you will be able to do it so uh, first uh, example i'll take is to print all the links on any web page so for example if i open this uh, request demo page of sugar crm uh, website then um, there are uh, certain links right so if you see all these are links here at the bottom and then you know many other links are present on the page as well right so for example this facebook uh, twitter and all these pages so if you just right click and inspect these links you will see um, there is something common with all the links on a particular web page and the common tag is basically uh, the anchor tag so uh, any link on a uh, HTML page starts with an anchor tag tag so um, if you go to another item you'll see that this uh, sales automation uh, link again starts with anchor tag right uh, and then you know customer service starts with another anchor tag so if we simply uh, you know to find out all the uh, you know tags on a particular page if we simply say uh, to slash and then you know put an a in front of it it will list all the anchor tags that are available on this particular web page right so um, and then you can put other attributes to filter out the results okay so um, now in order to get you know um, all the links what we'll use is in selenium you have the uh, find elements method that we have already discussed and then you can find the links by certain tag so in this case we know all the links start with anchor tag a so we will use the method find elements and use you know um, an anchor tag a to find those elements similarly uh, if you if you go to you know like these drop downs right if you inspect the drop down you will see that all the drop downs uh, static or uh, sorry uh, all these uh, select uh, drop downs uh, start with the tag option okay now if there are multiple uh, drop downs on a page all those uh, you know drop downs will have these you know web elements starting with option so this technique will be helpful in those uh, handling those scenarios as well so let's first print all the uh, links on the page so i'll open eclipse let me copy um, this demo class and i'll paste it and i'll say print all links all right so that's the class name and now in this particular class let me remove everything else except these two lines and then we want to print all the links on this particular page right so let me open this particular page okay now the first thing we need to do is to basically find the elements right so find elements by tag so we have find element method and find elements now we want to find all the elements that have the tag a okay so what we'll use is we'll say driver dot find elements right so we'll just say find elements by tag name this one right and specify the tag name as a okay so what this method will do is it will find all the elements on the page on this particular page that have the anchor uh, the, uh, the tag as a okay and now we can store it into what so if you hover over this method you will see you can store it into a list okay so list of web elements so i'll say list web element all right and then say all tags okay and import this um, web element class 
and the list java.util okay so now all tags contain all the tags that are present on the page okay so now let's print what all tags are present so how many tags are present so to print that what I, what we'll do is we'll say um it's a total tags are and then you say all tags dot size right so we'll call the size method so it will return the size of the uh, the total number on the page total number of the anchor text on the page uh, the next thing is basically to print all the links okay so whatever links are there so if we again go to the website and inspect this web element we'll see where exactly the link is in which attribute of the element the link is stored so if you see this is the anchor tag then the attribute which stores the link is href okay so if you see href is equal to the link so we need to get the link details so in order to get the link detail we need to get the property or the attribute for that particular web element so to get that we'll use the for loop to iterate through this particular list and print all those links okay so for loop uh, is pretty simple so um, just int uh, i is equal to zero and then till when do we want to iterate we want to iterate until all the links have been iterated okay so we'll say all tags okay all tags sorry i less than all tags dot size right because with size method we know what is the size of the uh, this all these links so what is the total number of links so we want to iterate from zero index zero and less than one okay so less than the total size so i'll explain that and then you just say i plus plus okay so increment that and then we'll perform the printing in this quotes here now why does you know like as you know the index always when we when we are looking for any of the index or values by the index it always starts with zero now if it starts with zero what this all tags dot size will return is it will return say for example 200 results okay now because you are starting with zero you have to stop at 199 index because 199 index will be your 200 right because index starting from zero so including zero you have to iterate through 199 to get the 200 values right okay so that is why we are iterating or we are starting with zero and then that is why we are having just less than the size the all tags dot size and performing the printing here so we'll say uh, system dot out dot print ln okay and then we'll say links r or we'll say links on page r okay and then uh, just append we'll say all links dots we'll say all links sorry all links dot oh sorry all tags so this is tags dot and we have to iterate right so we have to first get the index of the link that we want to print okay and then we have to get the attribute okay so we'll first get the items if for example in this case the first so in the first loop what will happen is all tags dot get zero so it will get the first link on the page and then we want to print the text right so we can again say dot get text or get attribute in this case we want to print the link right so uh, where is the link stored in the attribute href right so we'll say href okay as the attribute okay now it will print the link and if we say get text then in that case it will print the visible text for those particular link okay so let's save this and run it and see 
what all is printed on the screen. So it's starting and it's launching the browser and you'll see it maximize the browser. Let's go back and you can see that it is printing all the links and the visible text. Okay. So on the console, if you go above, you'll see the total tags are 151, right? And then it has printed the link or uh, the actual link and the visible text. An actual link and the visible text, right? If there is no visible text, then that is that field is remain uh, or printed as blank, right? So that's how you will utilize uh, the logic to basically, you know, like print all the links on uh, the page, okay? And uh, the text associated with the link uh, or any other methods that you want, you know, that you feel uh, useful in your test automation, that's how you will use it. So that's pretty much all about uh, printing the links on uh, the page. Uh, similar concept you can utilize for uh, the drop downs. If we go to this particular uh, Salesforce, uh, you know, sign up page, you will see that uh, drop downs. If you inspect these drop downs, they start with the select tag and then they have, you know, the drop down options, right? So uh, these options are common for all these single select. Uh, drop, drop down so this basically option or option tag is common so like we use the anchor tag for the for the links to print the links we can use the option tag basically to print the options that are available on the um, on a particular page okay so for example in this case um, let's replace it with option okay so I'll change the link to um, Salesforce uh, link and then we'll change this uh, tag to option okay and then what we want to print is uh, the attribute for the option so let's see what is the attribute for the option uh, so attribute uh, are the value so values there so we'll say uh, I want to see all the values okay or basically the uh, the value that is there for the options okay and just remove this one okay and run this so in this case what it will do is it will um, navigate to that particular website get all the tags that are starting with option uh, web elements that are starting with uh, with tag option and then print the value for those options okay so if we go that so you can see it is printing all the values that are available in the options tag of that particular web page so you you are seeing links on the page because i didn't change this text here so that is why it's showing that but if we navigate to this particular page you will see that these are the um, you know job title uh, that are available in the drop down and then in the country you'll see all the you know values that are being printed okay now if we want to you know change it to something else or some other uh, attribute we can do so as well by simply changing that method okay so we can simply uh, you know change it to dot get you know either a tag name or text so if we use text and save it and run it will print the text in that in those all uh, in all of those option tags so let's see what it prints okay and you can see it is printing the text that is available for those drop down list right it is printing all that on the page um, so the next thing will be basically say for example you just want to uh, print the options that are available in the job title so the one option is you identify this particular element with a unique identifier in this case say for example 
this name user title is unique for this particular drop down so you can use that to identify only this particular uh, drop down job title and then print the values in the in the job title and then it won't print all the values in the other option but if you want to print all the details then you can simply use the same logic to print all the option uh, values that are there in the option tag or in the anchor tag for the links to be printed so that's pretty much all about how you can print the links on the page hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching